What a crazy turn of events that it's been in week two of the 2022 NFL season. Ups and downs, highs and lows, teams giving up leads, teams coming back from 20-point, 22, 25-point deficits to lead their team to victory. We're going to be recapping everything that happened in Sunday slate of games on week two, as well as looking ahead to Monday Night Football, as there are two contests let yet to be played here tonight. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode of Time to Football. My name is Hassan Khan, the host of the show that we like to call Time to Football. Glad you guys are a part of it. And as always, every Monday on our recap show, we have our wonderful co-host, the man, the myth, the legend, Aubrey Graham. Yo, chill. <laughs> Chill out, bro. We're, we're hey, acknowledging, what's up, guys? What's up? We're acknowledging a comment that uh, someone left on a video where they said they really brought in Drake on the show. Yeah. I, do you get that a lot? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I milked that, bro. I milked that. I was Drake for Halloween. And, like, no, like, the grassy days, though. Not oh, the Drake that okay. we know now. Like, I had a wheelchair and a basketball and because I, I didn't have a costume for this party. Yeah. So I was trying to show up. So I was just like, what can I do that's going to take no effort? Took my grandma, my grandmother's wheelchair, and a basketball, and I showed up. So, uh, was your girlfriend? Did she hold the gun? Was she the? You taking it? That's too far, man. Anyway, <laughs> let's, you know, let's talk about the NFL and everything that happened. Um, yeah. There's a lot to to cover before we get into the content portion of it. We do this thing every week where yeah. we have a little bit of a questionnaire Ooh. for you. So this time around, I'm ready. You ready for this? You ready? Because, because okay. So for you guys that missed last week's show, we had pretty much five questions for Anthony to answer, and if he won, let me go ahead and pull this out. Not that, but this. Yup. Uh huh. Ooh, the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 package. Your balls will thank you. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that thing. Come on, come on. Hey, I know that it's getting colder. I know that winter is coming pretty soon, but you still need to be groomed That's right. for your significant others. You know, you never know. That's right. Uh, so this could be yours if you answer five questions correctly in a row, okay. in a row. And again, if you miss one, you're out. You only get one lifeline, and that is your phone. You can call someone. You can use the internet, whatever you want. Bet. It is your option. So That ball shaver is coming home with me. I don't know. Some of these questions... I mean, some of them might be easy up front, but then later on, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, let's just get right into it, okay? Right, let's do it. Let's do it. So, and by the way, for you guys that are uh, watching this video, go ahead and purchase the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. Just click that link in the description. 20% off if you use the promo code T2F. Big shout out to Manscaped for making this possible. All right, Anthony. You ready for this? All right. Question one. Who had the most passing touchdowns in week two? Was it A, Justin Herbert, B, Tua Tagovailoa, C, Matthew Stafford, D, Carson Wentz? I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say Tua. Tua Tagovailoa, is that your final answer? Yep. Well, Anthony. <laughs> Yo, if I got this right out the gate, Right out the gate. You got it correct. Let's go. Tua had six touchdowns. Went off, bro. Oh, my gosh. Went off. 469 Four. yards. My goodness. Like, what? That's Madden stats. <laughs> I don't want to be on the ground when the time flies. That's the song of Madden. Um. Anyways. You bought the 23, Troy? No, 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 no. Okay. I, I have 22. But that was a song of Madden 20, and now it's like a meme where like 23, brother. 23? Yeah. I, I don't have next gen. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I really, really, really want the new roster. I really want to play with Kenny Pickett. Um, question number two. Which team scored zero points in week two? A, Seahawks. B, Cardinals. C, Colts. D, Falcons. It was the Colts. They got blown out by the Jaguars like 26-0, 24-0. Is that your final answer? I hate it when you say that. Yes. You're correct. Okay. It is the Colts. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got to add suspense, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a like deal or no deal up in here. I know, yeah. Got to show myself bald. Um, question three. 
Which team was down 28 to 3 at one point? Was it A, the Falcons? <laughs> B, the Rams? C, the Cardinals? Or D, the Bengals? The Falcons. Is that your final answer? Are you getting confused with another moment? Bro, with don't their do that. Oh, it's right, always too right. soon. It's always too soon. Give me the choices again. Falcons. Falcons, Rams, Cardinals, Bengals. Falcons. Final answer? Yes. Well, Anthony, you continue to move on because it is the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. How many more questions I got, bro? I'm sweating. Two more until you get the <laughs> Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. It is yours. All right. Question four. And you still have one lifeline, which is crazy. You still yeah. have a lifeline. I used that joint early last week. Who currently leads the AFC South? Is it A, the Colts, B, Titans, C, Texans, or D, Jaguars? Who leads the South? I'm going to use my line. Using his lifeline. I'm going to use my line. Anthony checking in on his lifeline. Um, internet is saying the Jaguars. Is, are the Jaguars your final answer? Yes. Four for four as of right now. Anthony, you advance to the championship round. Let's go. Now, here's the thing. Final question. Yep. No more lifelines. Nope. You think you can do it? I'm ready. He's ready. For the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 package. Question number five. Final question. Who had the most rushing yards yesterday? Was it A, Aaron Jones? B, David Montgomery? C, Christian McCaffrey? Or D, Lamar Jackson? Ooh. Nineteen yards yesterday, I think it was. But nah, I think my balls are gonna thank me. Let's go with Aaron Jones. Let's go with Aaron Jones. Is Aaron Jones? Is, is my final answer, Hassan. <sighs> Anthony, you got <laughs> so freaking close. No, that's it. You got. So whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. You got so close, and you got it correct. Oh, my you God. <laughs> Bro, you are so good at that. Congratulations to Anthony. He wins the Lawnmower 4.0 package. Woo! Beep, 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 beep. And oh, all right, man. I got I to gotta give this to you. What, do you. what do you have to say? Bro, I am stoked, bro. You know what I'm doing when I go home, you know? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's please... Sorry. Not put that visual in our yeah, head. Right, 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 right. Show it off to the crowd. Man, Show it off to the audience. What do you thing, what got? Oh, your balls look at this thing. Look. I got shampoo. What is this? Crop I don't know. reviver. Crop re yeah. That's it's, it's a ball toner. I've never used that. I've never wanted my balls to be that shiny. You I don't know what I'm I don't yeah, think yeah, it really yeah. cares. But that is that ball deodorant? Yes, it is. Ball de I use that a lot. You use ball deodorant? In times I haven't showered and, wow. you know, there's some alone time that needs to be had, you know. I'm so excited. Dude, Matt, that's, yeah, that is yours. I want to thank, I first want to uh, thank God. I want to thank uh, my mom. Mm. Um, <laughs> shout yeah. out. Shout out to. <laughs> you know, they, uh, during, if you're betting on sports games, they're like, you can bet on who they're going to be thinking first after they win the game. Like, God. Their family. Seriously? Yeah, you can bet on stuff like that. You can also bet on, like, what's the color of the Gatorade that gets dumped on the coach when they win the Super wow, Bowl and stuff like that. that's crazy. So, hey, I, I mean. It's like miscellaneous bets. Yeah, congratulations to you that uh, put a bet on God. Anthony thanking God first. Congratulations to Anthony Duvernay for being the winner of the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. Again, use that promo code <clears throat> T2F. Sign up and, and click that link in the description. I'm so glad that you won it this month Bro, because I'm so uh, excited. our partnership only lasts for a month. Bet. So I'm, I'm glad it was just taken care of now because I, I was like, I forget into October and we're still 
There's no point. We'll have to get that extended. We do. We we'll do. Hey, Manscaped, watch this video. This is like a trial run. They'll see if they want to sign us long term. Yeah. I think they will. All right. Now let's get into the beef of it. Um, let's first, real quick, do an injury roundup. Uh, some big names were injured this past weekend. Mm -hmm. um, Gabriel Davis, let's talk about tonight first. Between the Bills and the Titans. So he suffered a non-contact injury. He might be out in this game. Uh, has an ankle injury. Just uh, keep up to date. It's going to be a game time decision whether he's going to be playing or not. James Conner suffered an ankle injury as well. Uh, we don't know the status just yet. Patrick Sertan, very talented corner for the Denver Broncos. Um, he also suffered an injury, was ruled out for the re remainder of the game, as well as his teammate on the offense, Jerry Judy. Shoulder injury, don't know the status just yet. It's very early. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, we also learned, for you guys that watched our recap show, uh, or our preview show, we didn't get to talk about Justin Herbert yet, but for you guys that haven't heard yet, Justin Herbert, broken cartilage wow. in his ribs. Uh, it's just a pain factor at this point, whether he can play or not. Uh, but he's going to be day-to-day, -day, so maybe he misses one, maybe two games, but uh, it doesn't seem to be too serious. But the biggest news is Trey Lance ankle injury. He's going to be out for the remainder of the That's season. That's crazy. That is really, really unfortunate news for the 49ers. Or is it? And that's what we're going to be talking about here for the next few minutes. <clears throat> Anthony. Yo. With Trey Lance suffering this ankle injury, are the 49ers better off with Jimmy Garoppolo? As as excited as I am for like Lance or was excited for him like to be leading that team, uh I think the 49ers are better off with Jimmy because of his record like he's 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 proved that he can win constantly when when he's healthy you know and when he's healthy he's bringing the 49ers to a championship game the or these last two years and um i think what was kyle shanahan's record um uh, with, last season with jimmy is like 31 and 15 and without it's like 8 and 28. I think it might be better than that. I think they've only lost like 7 or 8 games. Now, fact check me on that. I I could be incorrect, but I think it's less than 10 games. I'm just throwing numbers out there. I th I think it, just, yeah. But he's he's proven that he can lead that team and you know, he he's seasoned, right? And so he has a leadership that you know, Lance may not have. Um so I think I think the 49ers are better off with Jimmy Jimbo. I have to agree with you. I think they tried to force this idea since last year. Now, kudos to them for being long-term thinkers. Like you got to have, you know, your lineup a year in advance already made up, but kudos to them for planning ahead being like, "Listen, we're going to take them in 2021. You're going to sit for a year and then uh Trey Lance you're going to play." And that's great and all if Lance was going to be the next superstar of the league, but he hasn't proven it just yet. He yeah, might no, be. No, no. He might be. I don't know. But uh, he, he just really hasn't proven it yet. And, I mean, for a team that got to the NFC Championship, I think at that moment when they got to the NFC Championship, Kyle Shanahan should have been like, okay, I know what our plan is with Trey Lance, but Jimmy G got us this far. Yeah. Are we willing to really take that risk? and just put in Lance and not really just keep on going yeah. with Jimmy G and just go with like pieces around us. Like we need to help in like the secondary we need, like, you know, all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. And for them to take that risk early on, I mean, they lost against the bears. It was a bad weather game. You're already Oh, and one Jimmy but G they, came in. They still played great ball though. That they game, did. I thought. No, they, they did. They did. I mean, it could have been a, a product of the weather while they lost, yeah. uh, but I mean that 20 to seven game victory with Jimmy Garoppolo, against the Seahawks, I think that pretty much proved it that this team can make it back to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they are, however, going to be making it to the postseason? Maybe as far as the NFC Championship. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say championship. Um, but definitely to the playoffs. I could see it. So the NFC West, you still got the Rams winning that? Oh, man, bro. I like... I just want to redo our first video all over again. <laughs> like, I'm like eating all of my words, man. 
Hey, I mean, <laughs> listen, man. You know, week one, there's a lot of surprises in the NFL. A that's, lot of surprises. That's why we love the NFL, just because you never know what's going to happen. Um, but I would, yeah, probably if to answer your question, yeah, I'll do the, I'll go with the Rams. Okay. The Rams. Yeah. But I think I think the 49ers will go to the playoffs. Um, yeah, I believe in Jimmy. And it's like we have a, we always get excited for like these new players. And how many of them end up being a bus? Trevor Lawrence, we were, he was number one, amazing. He's not, he's not all that, at all. I mean, yesterday he just, bro. Okay, all right. I Against the Colts, that. come on. Yeah, the Colts did not look good at all. Jimmy GQ is going to be leading the 49ers. <laughs> and in the NFC West, it's a uh, four-way tie right now between yeah. all the teams. All of them are one-on-one. One. So, I mean, it's up in the air. Rams are the favorites. But, I mean, also don't sleep on the Cardinals after that freaking – That was insane. It's, a, that it's was like a game crazy. of Madden. That's Man. Yeah. That was so exciting. Yeah. But that QB boy. Whew. I'm glad I'm glad he took it into his own hands and like ran it in like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And that was an amazing catch by Brown. Yeah, for real. I'm um, green. Like, Sorry. Well, both. I mean, Brown had a touchdown. Yeah. Where he was like double teamed and then green in the back. I think the, the two point conversion. Yep. Yeah. Two point. Mm-hmm. He squeezed that joint in. Yeah. Got his uh That was a dot. Yeah. That was a dot. Pointed right at him. He's like, hey, I'm going to throw to you. And, and yeah, like, just... one of the defenders like was like this close to hitting the ball. I was like, oh. Ooh. Yeah. No. So, yeah, the NFC West is definitely up in the air. Um, I want to hear your thoughts. You guys leave a comment down below. What do you think is going to happen with Jimmy Garoppolo with the uh, 49ers? And if you guys want to leave a record prediction, uh, go ahead and do that. I think last year they went either 9-6 and six or 10-7. and seven. Wait, no. 9 and eight or 10 and seven one of those uh and then went to the nfc championship do you guys feel like they're gonna be just as good um if so you know i'd love to hear your thoughts if not definitely interact with us we want to we want to hear your thoughts so leave a comments down below hey Hassan, do you think they can hear me chewing my gum i don't think so okay I comment don't... leave your comments on the bottom can you hear me chewing my gum <laughs> yeah is it stride is it uh five it's five are you sure it sounds it's, like it's, it's stride it's... <laughs> okay all right all right i'm not gonna doubt you i mean you are the winner of the manscape 4.0 that's after right after all that's right like we can't doubt you that's right um now let's move on to our next segment mm-hmm. let's talk about the cincinnati Bengals, dude what's up with them i know i okay so the colts are one of those other teams where like Oh, what's up with them? But the Bengals, man, they made the playoffs last Are year. The they made Colts the Super really Bowl. One of those teams, though. I mean, if we want to roll back the tape to Week One okay, in the okay, video, okay. you know, right. <laughs> Matt Ryan. Um, but the Cincinnati Bengals, man, they are zero and two at this point after losing to the Dallas Cowboys last second field goal by Brett Maher, and to get Cooper Rush to a two and zero record as a starter. Are the Bengals in trouble? Listen up. Y'all listen up too, okay? As of, as of today, I am done with the Bengals. I'm as done. of today. As of, as of yesterday. <laughs> I'm announcing today that as yeah. of yesterday, I am done with the Bengals. Really? Out yeah. completely? Like, not even make the playoffs? No, they'll they'll make some play. They'll make the playoffs, but are they okay. going to the Super Bowl? Absolutely not. Mm. Not with that old line. It's trash. It's crazy because uh, they signed a guy named Lel Collins who came from the Dallas Cowboys, who was a beast and a force on the Dallas Cowboys, mm-hmm. and this is the the O line is the reason. I, I mean, I would say why. They've been struggling so much. Like the pass yeah. rush of the Cowboys was just getting after yeah. them. He had no time to throw um, to Jamar Chase or anyone. Like he couldn't find anyone. Bro, he look he looks like a scrub. Yeah, he it's looks like it's a really scrub. bad. I mean, like what well, they are fluke. How do you fluke get into the Super Bowl though? <laughs> like, that's true. <laughs> like they like okay. What we talked about in Week One, I kind of go back on where they deserve to go to the Super Bowl. Like yeah. if you win the game, you deserve to like you know you yeah. made it. Um, a lot of those victories, however, were 
within one possession, like against the Chiefs in overtime. Um, and so, it, you know, this was a team that a lot of people expected to, at one point, just kind of go on the decline. Yeah. But I didn't think it would be to this point. Um, I think they would have had a chance to beat the Cowboys. But yeah. They had a chance, but they – just didn't look good, and uh, I mean, I think we're on the same page where it's the offensive line. I mean, yeah, you, you think there's any hope for it to, to turn around? I mean, yeah, you yeah, said yeah, make yeah, the playoffs, yeah. but the, I mean, it's early. They can make the make adjustments, and they'll make it to the playoffs for sure. But I don't, I don't, I don't foresee them being even the champions, like leading the division or Man. getting to the Super Bowl. Yesterday's game with the Bengals was it more of the Cowboys looking great or more of the Bengals looking bad? Dang, is there a middle ground at all? Like, you can do middle. I'm okay with that. Dude, this is the, this is your show. You can do whatever good. you want. Yeah. The Cowboys look great. I think Rush is doing a great job. He's throwing dots. Mm-hmm. He's he's nice. I like him. Yeah. I like him a lot. And but the Bengals also look terrible. So Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Uh, yeah. I mean So I'm gonna give Cowboys their props because they, they look good. No, something needs to change with uh the Cincinnati Bengals needs to change fast because, um, you know, they get they got to have a hold on this AFC North sooner rather than later. I think the Ravens are – I mean, I know that they lost against the Miami Dolphins, but Man. Uh, they, they might be the favorite if the Bengals can't really do anything at this point. The Ravens? The Ravens, Yeah, I would say. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I mean – I really – I'm really happy that the Dolphins won. But I want I want Lamar to get a Super Bowl so badly. Because mm-hmm. that's what he said he was going to do. In a contract y'all, year. Y'all going to get a Super Bowl out of me. Believe so, that. The, believe that. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Big trust. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, leave your comments down below about the Cincinnati Bengals. We want to know your thoughts. Like, when is this team really going to turn around? Uh, what's really at fault? We both agree that it's probably the offensive line. Yeah. Uh, but if you guys are really like Cincinnati Bengals haters and you're like, oh, Joe Burrow's trash, whatever, like this is a safe space where you can share your opinions, leave your comments down below. We'd love to interact with you guys. All right, so to wrap it up, let's go ahead and talk about Monday Night Football here real quick. We've got two games. For some reason, for some freaking reason, I don't know if it was with you that I brought it up or someone else, but I have to go to uh, Reddit and find links for like streams and stuff because they're only going to broadcast one of these games. So I have to get a virus. I have to get I have to get a virus to watch the Vikings versus Eagles here tonight because you're not going to show both games. Thanks, ESPN. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. Maybe maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. But um, first row sports, uh, crackstreams.com. Predictions for Monday Night Football: Titans versus Bills. That's the first game. What do you think is going to happen? Bills, hands down. <laughs> really? It okay. I- well, go ahead. Bills. I love the Bills. So I think the Bills are ten point favorites in this game, which I think is kind of stupid. I wouldn't say stupid, <laughs> but it's a little bit of like a like where the where's the props for the Titans? You know, I I want to give some love to the Tennessee Titans. Not against the Bills. I mean, not against the Bills. Maybe not. Ten the, points might be a little bit of a stretch. This is, but this is gonna be a blowout, brother. You think so? Yeah. I mean, the way that they handled handle the Rams. I mean, this is gonna be a blowout. And the way that the Titans lost right. to the Giants, but the Giants are le- Giants are legit. Giants are legit. Giants are legit. We are two and zero, oh, bro, since 2016. Dude, and that that's when they made the playoffs. I yes, think. yes, <laughs> with Eli Manning. I remember that. Uh, was that the that that was the year where they uh, had the boat trip? Do you remember that? Where they like all went on a cruise or not a cruise, but like they had a trip where there was a photo mm-hmm. out there with like Odell, Sterling Shepard. And all these guys on a boat. Chilling. Chilling before the playoff game. Yeah, because that's how we win. I don't know. I, I don't know if they won. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Um, but, okay, so you got the Bills. I, I mean, yeah. I got the Bills too, but I'm going to say it's by like four points, five points, something like that. Bro, so I don't think it's going to be. That's insane, Hassan. I don't, I, <laughs> like, I, like, for real? Are you just trying to, like, make some noise or anything? Like, you, King Henry? You. King Henry is amazing. This is your king? <laughs> is this your king? <laughs> I'm a Titans believer still. I think the Bills are going to win, but I'm going to give Titans props. But five points? Yeah. 
by five points. It's happening. That's crazy. And if it's not by five, it's by four. That's crazy. 14. It's no, like 20. <laughs> no, maybe. I don't know. But yeah. we both got the Bills. I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, the second game, Vikings versus Eagles. Uh, the Vikings looked good under a new offense. The Eagles looked great as well. Could be NFC East favorites with Dak Prescott missing some time. But then Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush is just looking amazing. Mm-hmm. So we don't doubt him. But the Eagles versus Vikings. Vikings. Yes, sir. Okay. Going with the Vi- I know I was kind of like dogging on them a little bit last week. Yeah. And th- what I said was true. Okay. I still stand by that. But the Vikings offense is probably going to blow the Eagles out. So you don't think that Gian Hurts even has a chance to make it close? No. <laughs> I'm sorry Ooh. it took me so long to answer that. I don't think so. Okay. Fair enough. I mean. What about you? I got the Vikings as well. Mm-hmm. Kirk Cousins is 2-9 and nine on Monday Night Football. That's the only thing that's making me go like, oh, is it man. Mon- is it because it's Monday? Or? I don't know, man. You know, Yeah, Mondays suck. I don't know. Like, for some reason, he's 2-9. and nine. All right, I'm going with the Eagles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. Hey, I mean, it's a good pick. Like, A.J. Brown was – Killing it last week. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a good pick. I still got the Vikings, though. I think it's going to be close, but... Uh, let's just keep it interesting. You go with the Vikings, I'll go with the Eagles. All right, got it. I'm going to yeah. go with the Eagles. Who, who do you guys favor, Anthony or yours truly? Let me know. The guy wearing the Falcons shirt. Right, exactly. Yeah, no, so... <laughs> I can't believe you're wearing that. That's great. Dude, I had to in honor of 28-3. to three. Gosh, you that was what? crazy. That Yeah, y'all are losing differently, but... Yeah. What I've noticed about you Falcon fans is that, like, you, it doesn't matter. You already know how it's going to end. Oh, yeah. But you guys watched the whole thing. Oh, yeah. I was with some homies watching the game, and I was like, yo, can we, can we change this? Like, can we watch, can we go to the other game? Like, you guys already see what's happening. Like, why are we still, no, no, we got to watch it. (laughs) And I'm like, bro, doesn't this ruin your weekend? (laughs) You know what's crazy is, uh, we're so callous to, to the point where we already know what's going to happen, like you said, yeah, that nothing really shocks us at this point. So it's just like really just watching your favorite team play, and that's it. And you just yeah. get enjoyment out of that. And I remember watching it with my wife, Sarah, and she was like, oh, my gosh, this is crazy. Like, they're coming back. And I'm like, oh, man, this is awesome. They're coming. Yeah. And then when they didn't win, um, I was like, well, you know, the past – 30 minutes to an hour was a nice, nice time. I enjoyed that. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I'm not disappointed because I knew they were going to lose. I was, I was going like, for it. I was going for you Oh, guys. yeah. Oh, oh my God. If they pulled that off, man. I was for a split second, split I second, I was were. like, maybe they finally, if they pull this off, they finally get over the 20 to 3, like, meme mm-hmm. part. No. Because Drake was going off. Really? What? Eight receptions, 87 yards, a touchdown. He was I think that was the stat line. That was that yeah. was Marietta's dude. And it's crazy because uh Marietta's Mariotas. Mariota. <laughs> oh gosh. Do you guys do you know the Island Boys? Yes. I'm an island boy. They made a song about the Falcons because Marcus Mariota is like Hawaiian. It's just it's oh, trash. Okay. Yeah. I'll show you after. Um yeah, Drake London went off. People were criticizing that pick because uh they were like, Oh, he's not even the best receiver in the draft. Uh it's Garrett Wilson. And Garrett Wilson had a good day too. So I mean, I don't know. They mm-hmm. both are Really, really good, but but Ramsey just got up there. I don't know. I, I've never have seen him jump that high until then. Hey, man, you, he's him. He's him. I'm losing respect for Ramsey though, <laughs> but that's that's for another day. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. Last week he got he got cooked, but no, yeah, whatever. Um, he's overrated. Anyway, let's go. Anyways, uh, but that's going to wrap up this episode of Time to Football. We appreciate you guys watching this episode. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you aren't already subscribed. Uh, purchase the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. Like, Anthony's going to show it off here real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Hold up the uh, the razor oh, wrapped up you so you, you know it. that no one else has used it before. Appreciate it. Yeah. You dude, know. This thing got some weight to it. Yeah, that's dude. That's good. That's good. Yeah, man. It's, uh, I like it. Um, yeah, accessories, 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 got guards, got everything in there, but, uh, make sure you guys purchase that and use the promo code T2F while you guys are at it. Um, with all that said, Anthony, any last words? Nope. 
We're good. We're good. Uh, <laughs> make sure you guys tune in to our fantasy football channel. We're going to come out with a week two recap show uh, just a little bit later on after this one is published. Um, and subscribe to this channel to, to stay up to date for preview shows that comes out uh, later on Thursday. Um, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Nah, 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 nah.